Hello again, guys and girls of the Gears of War community. My name is TF Chrissy, and I am here today to bring you another gameplay commentary. So, a few updates before I get into the subject. First off, I did a commentary yesterday uh, on a team called KO, and like the whole situation's escalated right now. So, I'm going to do a follow up video on that later today. Or, no, not later today, because today is 11 o'clock at night, but I will do a follow up video on that soon. Um. Another thing is, my current account has been banned, I'm not entirely sure why, I think it might be because I had a bit of profanity in my, um, in my bio, but what I don't understand is, uh, the last time I had profanity in my bio, it took them like six months to find it, literally, and I was only banned for a day today, uh, this time I've been banned for six days. And my friend said, oh yeah, it's because they've got something that searches for this. And the thing is, if they've got something that searches for these words in people's bios, they have a system that blocks people from typing in these words anyway. Why not put it in the system? So, either Microsoft, Microsoft is mentally challenged, like the people who run this Xbox, or I've been banned for a reason unknown, and I can't actually access my um, uh, my Hotmail account to find out why at the moment. So I'll get back to you guys on that. So that is why you're watching my second account right now. This is um, my second account, Hypernova HD. Um, so I got a gameplay earlier today on that, and that is what you are watching right now. So I want to get into this video, you know, get all the bad stuff out of the way, and bring you a nice cheery com uh, commentary in the middle of the storm of my uh, channel right now that is just filled with depression and utter hatred for everything. But um, anyway, so I wanted to do a quick commentary on the details that have been released for Gears of War 3. And I know a lot of things have been covered already, like the blatant stuff that uh, Yami Mash did a video on. So I'm not going to cover that. I'm going to cover a little speculation on uh, some other things that have been happening. Or some other things that have been announced in the background that people might not have paid attention to. So the main one is... Um, in Undead Over Undead Overrun? What game am I thinking? I'm thinking of Red Dead Redemption. No, in Gears of War 3 Overrun mode, they are taking out stopping power. Now obviously this is for overrun mode. They have confirmed this for overrun mode, but I'm not entirely sure whether it's just for overrun mode, because it says it's for overrun mode, but it doesn't say it's only for overrun mode. So they might remove stopping power from multiplayer in Gears of War 3. Now, if you had asked me um, about a month ago, or two months ago rather, uh, you know, Chris, do you want stopping power, do you not want stopping power? And back then I said, no, get rid of it. It's awful, it's terrible for the game. And as the time's gone on, and I've had more and more experience with Gears of War 3, I'm a little more on the edge about the, kind of, or about the stopping power. Because at one, at one level, it takes a lot of the straight up action out of the game and it makes it really um boring in a way and a lot slower paced but on the other hand it makes it a lot more tactical a lot more tactical it makes it a lot more team based because focus fire is so much more powerful now than it was on gears of war one and teams are so much more able to um you know lock down an area or you know uh, just destroy another team with good lancer fire, which takes more intelligence or knowledge than skill, but still, like, it's not that hard to use a lancer, it's just to know where and when to use it. And for a really good player, and playing with some of the best players in Europe, I have noticed that just because you've got a lancer in your hand and you've got stopping power in that lancer does not mean you're going to beat someone who's got an Asher. A lot of the time, someone who knows how to use the cover and that's someone who knows how to move around it perfectly instead of just trying to wall bounce left and right up to someone will get around you and will take you out fairly easily. And 
let me just first address, I'm not sitting there saying, like, the good old, oh, yeah, just flank him because he's got a Lancer, you know. That's what a lot of people said when I posted a commentary on the Gal Forum saying, we need a toggle switch for stopping power. It's like, people said, oh, yeah, just flank him. It's like, have you ever played a competitive game? If flanking was a possibility, we would have done it. But anyway... That's my view on stopping power. I, I could do another like three or four minute rant on that and talk about all the different aspects, but I want to quickly go into this other thing, which is the control scheme, which is kind of confusing me a little bit, because in this control scheme, they've gone for a kind of Call of Duty first person shooter style control scheme. And it's a control scheme, but not like it's not taking Gears of War and making it first person. It's just adding that type of control scheme to it. And that concerns me in two ways. Because first off, with the actual control scheme itself, the Y button is to change weapons now, okay? And then they said it's the LB button to throw grenades. Fair enough. How do I change to my pistol? Because it said it swaps between your two main weapons. Well, the D-pad has four main weapons. You've accounted for three. The Y button switches between two. And the LB button um, throws the smoke grenade or whatever ha grenade you have at the time. But there's no mention of how you swap to your pistol. And I, frankly, right now, I love my pistol. It's such a powerful weapon. And it's so fun to use if you know how to use it properly. I mean... Four headshots or four active shots to the head to down someone, that's ridiculous. Like, even someone with a moderately fast trigger finger um, can take someone down in about half a second. So that's really, really fast. Um, another thing is, I play on the alternate control scheme. I have for about five or six months now, for a very long time. I'm very used to it. But how are they going to integrate or... Oh, I can't even think of the word... But uh, how are they going to put the alternate control scheme into this new um, control scheme itself? Because we're going to have to completely change it up again. Because the Y button is used for a lot more in, um, in the alternate control scheme than just beating people out like it is in the uh, normal control scheme. So that's what interests me. Um, I want you guys to leave your comments of what you think of the new alternate control scheme. So it's basically, as far as I know, it's just LB to throw grenades, uh, Y button to uh, swap weapons, and I got no idea what they're using for the um, what they're using for the D-pad now. I mean, for all I know, it could be just redundant now, which would be disappointing because I like this control scheme. It works well for me. I've never had, uh, I've never sat there and said. Oh, this control scheme is ruining the game for me. You know, this control scheme is making me die over and over again, which is not true. But anyway, guys, the commentary is coming to a close. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like if you like the commentary. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.